Were you guys big science fiction fans before? Huge, huge. huge. Yes. I, I wasn't really, but now I am. I'm getting to learn my sci-fi. You guys could have any superhero power. What would it be? Invisible. We, we've had this discussion. It was. It came down to invisibility or flying, didn't it? I, I'll definitely choose invisibility. It's the uh, coolest one. I'd go Would you fly? You'd say flying. Right? Didn't you say flying? Are the only options flying and invisibility? No, you, no, can, do you can choose everything. Yeah, Wolverine. Heal from everything, obviously. Come on. <laughs> That's really... Or probably, like, not dying. Yeah. That's the best. That's it, like Wolverine. Not dying. I'd oh, Wolverine doesn't die? I'd still go invisible. I know a lot. My life would be like shorter, I know a lot. more on. Mostly majority is invisible. Yeah. What would you guys we have a lot love? Of Invisibility. We have a lot of kill. Thing to want to I, where would you want to go? To like hide from things. It's terrible. I want to be able to be invisible and learn. No, <laughs> invisibility is a terrible power. It's, it's horrible. You guys could be anywhere and be invisible. Where would it be? But no one knew where you were. You could just Bank. clearly getting money. What, dude? If you're gonna be invisible, you better get something out of it. Steal a bank. It defeats the purpose of the I'm invisibility. The, the purpose is to do a bunch of bunch of stuff without anybody knowing. If I say it out loud, when I when I get the power, I'm gonna blow it. Well, the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films put this on tonight. What is your guys' biggest fantasy? Oh my God, are we sure we're doing that question? <laughs> um, my biggest fantasy. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. I don't know what. Stop looking at me. Um, I'll pass this one to DJ. I'll just follow up. What, what's your favorite? That would be a good Dragons. Just, just in general? Just dragons. Being no, like a Khaleesi, like no, having space, dragons. Space. I want to I do a good, uh, seriously, I want to do a really good science, original science fiction film at some point. It's my favorite genre. So I get really excited anytime you see like a writer director do an original story because they don't you don't see as many original sci-fi stories anymore. Um, so I want to do that. I want a, a, a gun in space. That's good. I'll go with actually going to space. Oh really? Yeah. Oh fine. Yeah. If you want to be That's well rounded. Cool. <laughs> That's and cooler. Mature. I would definitely like to have. Uh, I'd be like a Khaleesi. You have like dragons. I, that's a really dope thing. And you actually, you actually can fly on the dragons, mm. kill people. Why do I like the weirdest things, like killing people, stealing back? Because it's sci-fi. It's the only moment of your life that you can do it. Why not doing it? I mean, you guys are filming these action scenes, and there's zombies, and you know, really scary things. No zombies. No zombies. Well. Vampires. I mean, but there. I do. You guys ever get scared when you're filming a scene, at all? Or are you just? I'm acting. You're just scared of talking to me because I'm the creepiest looking one. So, I'm normally. It's really funny because when I got there, they would be like, "Oh, the Mexican. Hi. Ooh. Uh, welcome to Austin." And then I became a monster, and no one would talk to me. The only person that would talk to me was Robert, literally, like no one else would talk to me. And I had that conversation with him. He said the same thing happened as how the Salma Hayek when she shot the original movie. No one wanted to talk to her. And you're like, this is a good moment of reflection that beauty is not everything and there's something in there. So I would not talk to anyone. They would just like be like, ugh, hi, Aizan, run away. It was it was no, it was unconscious. Like we literally, they, we literally would just avoid her without even realizing it. I never, got, I never got scared from the the makeup, but we shoot a lot of guns on set, and there was one towards the end uh, towards the end of the season. The guns have blanks in them, obviously, and so there's a bit where I like I have it sitting in my in the front of my oh, yeah, pants, yeah, yeah. loaded and ready to. I have to pull it out of my pants in the thing and shoot it. And I was like, oh my god! Like every other shot, the gun's already been out, and it's just whatever. It's normal. But I was like, if this thing goes off right now, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get burned. I'm gonna lose a limb. <laughs> Do you ever get scared? You know, you're holding like really serious equipment. Uh, it's, it's the, the trick is not to blink when you shoot, because then you look lame. You're scared. You look like a little girl. Yeah. It's it's really cool, I guess. I didn't get to like shoot guns, but they're like heavy. That's like your exercise. Rip them in half. To like bite people and like rip them apart. My my parts way cooler than theirs. Like I run around and like ugly pain, like makeup, it's all good. We had fun. They put out a great video of the, the best kills from oh, yeah. the first season, and it's basically just Aza like ripping people apart the whole time. It's like, who wins? Who killed more people? And they clearly won because they had guns, but I ate a lot of more people than they did. You won. I won. Ah, oh, cooler. Because you got guns and fangs at I the won. same time. You win. He wins.
So you guys were on a desert island and you had one electronic device. Well, I mean, it's all sci-fi and like electronic. So, um, would you have a cell phone, a cell phone, a computer, or a television? But you can only use it for phone calls. All day, every day. Lightsaber. You guys are so childish. A gun. <laughs> a computer. Wait, there's no internet though, is there? Yeah, there's no Wi Fi. Computer, 100%. 100%. 100%. Computer. That phone's gonna die. What are you gonna plug it into? It's useless. A coconut. No. <laughs> Lightsaber. A phone. I don't care if I get to get. I take my Mophie. I can take a couple of Mophies. Just like charge my phone. Okay, last question. But what can fans expect in upcoming episodes? We don't we have know. No idea. No, we season don't start shooting until October, so we, we, we really don't know. We shooting second season. The first season is uh, soon to come out in Netflix, because it's an, uh, an original series for Netflix now. So it's right now done on the L. Ray Network, and we're going to go back on to shoot second season. So we're pretty excited. It's, it's cool for us, because it's been out and everywhere else. So now that it's going to be on Netflix uh, in, in the States, it's going to be easier for everyone else to like get caught up and when they're done with the first season we're already be going to be shooting the second one so people are going to get pretty excited I was going to say Netflix is pretty huge now like yeah, everyone is using Netflix and that El Rey and Netflix it's all I watch it's so cool we're, we're very excited and hopefully people will love it thank you guys so much thank for talking you.